so today's problem is kth missing positive number so let's see what are all the inputs given for the problem now we have two inputs for the given problem the first one is array of integers which is in sorted order the second one is integer k which actually meant specify which at which position the missing number we have to return for example consider the array uh, in sorted order let's write including with the missing numbers for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 11 this is the actual order with missing numbers so what are all the numbers missing from the array 1 2 is there 3 is there 4 is there 5 6 7 is there 8 9 10 11 is there so these are all the missing numbers so let's say this is count 1 and 2 3 4 5 so the missing fifth element is 9 so the output of this problem is 9 let's dive into the algorithm part okay now we are gonna have three variables uh, let's see the first one that is set we are going to create a set and copy all the values of array to the set that is our first thing the second thing is start so here we initialize start is equal to 1 so that it increments every time it encounters a new integer new positive integer it simply I, to iterate the array from 1 to n and the count is equal to k where we initialized count as k and decrement it every time it encounters the missing number for example in our previous uh, in our previous demo we saw 1568 and all as a missing number so every time it encounters the missing number the count decrements let's take the same example 2 3 4 7 11 and consider k is equal to 3 okay now since k is equal to 3 count is equal to 3 in our first iteration start is equal to 1 and count is equal to 3 so it checks whether 1 is start is present in the set or not no it is not present so it will iterate the start increment the start to 2 and decrement the count to 2 count by 1 like because it encountered the missing number so the count decremented the start incremented again it checks whether 2 is present in the set yes 2 is present so it just iterated to the next number 3 but the count will not decrease because the number is not missed the next iteration start is equal to 4 start is equal to 4 4 is present so count will not increase it will again increment the start so now start is equal to 5 it checks whether it is present in the set or not it is not present so it increment the count to 3 now count is 3 so our start is 5 ok now the loop repeats and the start is set to 6 it finds the another missing number and count is set to sorry count is now 1 it is decrementing no see 3 2 1 and the count is set to 0 so the loop iterates until c becomes 0 now the start value is 6 but the output we want is 5 so it will return start value minus 1 
so that is six that is five let's see how to write this as a algorithm as per our first step we are declaring the set and adding all the values of array to the set for that now we have added all the values of array now declaring int start is equal to 1 and int count is equal to k now the loop as we said the loop goes until the count becomes 0 so while count is greater than 0 the loop goes right so now we have to check whether the start is present inside the set or not if set dot contains start what we will do we will increment the start else we will increment the start as well as decrement the count right so this loop executes every time until the count becomes 0 now the count will be at start plus 1 so we have to return start minus 1 let's run the code yes thank you